today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Stuffed shells, garlic bread with homemade marinara. So here I am back in my kitchen again for what's for dinner Wednesday. And today we're going to be making some stuffed shells with homemade marinara we'll sauce. I have the recipe in the description for the, uh, the mixture for the uh, shells and for the marinara sauce. Um, some of you may not know this, but next to my mom's cooking, which is the absolute best cooking in the world to me, I love Italian food. Italian food happens to be my favorite. Let's get into making a marinara. So it because it needs to cook a little while. So first, we are going to be needing some diced or crushed tomatoes. These are Italian. So I'm going to put one 14 and a half ounce can and one 20 ounce, 28 ounce can. To this, I am going to add some minced onion. My son does not like onion, so what he doesn't know won't hurt him. So I'm just gonna add some minced onion. I also need garlic. Some minced garlic. I'm gonna put oh, a big heaping teaspoon of garlic in here. Need red pepper flakes, about a quarter of a teaspoon. I need two tablespoons of basil. Uh, that's calls for the fresh, but this is the dried. I'm just gonna put one tablespoon in. Some oregano, about a tablespoon, about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, some olive oil, oh, about a quarter of a cup. Some salt, teaspoon of salt, and some pepper. Now, let's go ahead and get this mixed up. So I'm using my immersion blender to go ahead and blend this. And this is what it looks like. So, my husband said to try some ground beef. So in half of it, I'm gonna put ground beef. I don't think I want it in mine, but I think I will put it in half of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me put a lid on this. Cause this is gonna start bubbling. down. I got two small hamburger patties. It's half a pound. Like I said, I'm not going to put it in everything. And to that, I am going to add garlic powder, some tomato basil, black pepper, and a little bit of salt. Let's add a little bit of basil. Now, that is my marinara sauce. So let's let this cook a while. Now, for my for my shells, I have one 15 ounce whole milk ricotta cheese. A 
I'm also going to turn on my uh, pot for my uh, shell. Get that to boiling with some salt. Now, I'm going to add one egg, Italian seasoning. This is just preference. Half a cup, well, a cup, let's use the whole cup, of Parmesan cheese, and a cup of mozzarella. Then I'm going to use some of this grated Parmesan cheese. However much you want. Give this a good mix. Let me check my ground beef here. Give this a mix. I am also going to be making garlic french bread. The ground beef is done, so let me add some of this marinara sauce to it. Turn it down just a tad. My water is finally boiling, so I'm going to add my pasta shells to my water. I don't think I'll need all of them. Now let's let this cook for about 14 to 15 minutes. While my pasta is still boiling, I'm going to make some garlic butter for my bread. I'm gonna cut some pieces up here and I'm gonna soften it just a little bit. Take my bread and we'll cut it in two. There's my bread. Got my butter softened. And I'm going to add my garlic powder, just however much you want, and some Italian seasoning. Go ahead and mix this up. So let's go ahead and slather this on my bread. We like our bread buttery and garlicky. Let's add a little bit more garlic powder to the top. Now, that's ready. Now my pasta is done, I'm gonna take it to my sink and I'm going to drain it and rinse it off in some cool water so I can handle it. Now. Let's take our mixture and our shells. I've cooled them that down. Let's go ahead and stuff them. Like I said, I'm gonna make two different kinds. One with ground beef and one without. And these are still pretty warm. I'm stuffing them up oh, about like this. Maybe a tablespoon. And as usual, some of them rip apart. 
and they like to fold under sometimes too. It makes it harder to stuff. One more. And like I said, I always make too many shells. Now, let's go ahead and put this sauce over this. This is a little bit thicker, but I'm going to be adding some water to the top of it. and add a little bit of water to this, about an eighth of a cup. Let's go ahead and add the sauce. I like a lot of sauce. A little bit of water to the top. So let's go ahead and add some Parmesan. Some mozzarella. Now, now let's put it in the oven. 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and put our French bread in the oven. In the oven. Some of both of this. Here's your dinner. Uh, ooh -wee. Is it super hot? Very, it just came out of the oven. You got three without ground beef and three with ground beef. They are hot. <clears throat> Was well, that with or without the beef? That's with the beef. And cheese, ricotta cheese? Mm hmm. That was really good. Let me try one without. And then try the garlic bread. Yeah. Let me get that 
it's steaming. I see. It's so hot. So which way do you prefer? Mm. With the beef or without the beef? Well, <clears throat> it's a tough call. I think personally I prefer with the beef because I like a little meat in the stuff, but I could eat these all day without the beef just as well. Do you think the but, homemade marinara makes the difference? Well, yeah, it, it, it's not like canned spaghetti sauce at all. I mean, the, the flavor from the marinara is really, really what gets it. So would you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Definitely a thumbs up. You may try the bread too? Yeah, go ahead, try that too. The bread smells good. Do you got enough garlic or need more? And be honest. It's good enough for me. Okay. Plenty of butter, yeah, that's really good bread. Goes good with this. So yeah, you like I think, it? I think they're both really good. I could eat either one. But if they were sitting there, I'd probably pick the meat ones over the other ones just because I like the hamburger meat on it. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thanks. Now let's try mine. I'll try one with the beef. Just to see what it's like. Now let's see what it tastes like. Need some salt. But then again, I've soft everything. Steamy. Let's try the one with the beef. It's pretty good with the beef. I think I prefer it without it. Now for my bread. Hmm. Pretty good. So I'll give it a thumbs up. Hope you try it. Hope you like it. Try making some homemade marinara. Homemade marinara. It's not hard. You may really like it. So until next time, don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit that notification button, share this video. See you again. Bye.